Hey everybody, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back with brand new rulers from the brand new set, The Epic of the Dragon Lord. We're here with some fun new brews. We're going to start off today with the red ruler. I mean, you know, yeah, she's right. awesome. Yeah. But before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It just takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We'd greatly appreciate it. And also down below is our link to the Force of Will Grimoire. And it is our own app for the deck building for Force of Will. It's a very, like well put together app for like because it took all three of us to figure out what we liked of an app and what yeah. we needed and what we put into it so we might be biased on it but yes uh, it's pretty awesome but the feedback we've gotten is pretty great so just check it out and see if you like it with that guys we're going to delve into scorched earth with our girl lilius so starting off with lilius the last descendant of the dragonoids she is the red ruler from the new set and judgments for three red and energizes with a red mm -hmm. Uh, you can pay zero, choose one, play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. This card does 200 damage to target player or J Resonator. Look at the top card of your deck, you may play it by paying its cost. Put five strength counters on this card. So one strength of those five. three abilities, sweet. Yeah. And she has the ability to tap, put five strength counters on her. So you just stack strength counters is what you're doing again, like we did with Kiri. Yep. Um, but her backside... She turns into a 12-12 with swiftness, which is <laughs> those stats are already insane. good. Yeah, um, and then if a fire source you control with deal damage, it deals that much plus X hundred. Where instead, where X is the number of strength counters on this card. So all those cards that you're playing, all your fire sources, you're just like, cool. My one one. If I have five, it deals six. Yeah, and she also is already doing more than 12 damage. <laughs> yeah, like that's insane for swiftness. Yeah, she is nuts and definitely going to be easily to easily to kill somebody with so you have to have an answer for it for sure with that we'll delve into the deck because there's no extra deck there's no none of that yeah, thing we're, we're done we're just it. we're done and also the alternate art of the rulers are back she yeah. actually looked different instead of her eyes opening or whatever <laughs> yeah. so we're all good and the first one of course is a whole pig the classic returning but we have a split card of the new set it's whole pig and food supply old two old cards coming together uh so whole pig is a one drop four three uh, you can banish this card, recover your ruler. So if you want to put uh, tap for strength counters, banish this, untap, get a stone, do whatever you need. Pretty awesome. The other one is food supply. And it's quick cast, one red, put five strength counters on your J ruler, draw a card. So there you go. So you can either also, correct me, I always get this messed up. So you can tap for a stone, untap this, and then uh, mm -hmm. flip her over. Mm -hmm. So... Therefore, you can do all that fun stuff. And if you draw more food supplies while she's flipped, you're just like, cool, put five strength counters on her. That's let's five do extra some damage. damage on everything you do. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's ridiculous. Uh, one of the next dudes we have is also a split card. It is Ground Splitter Rabbit slash Split Heaven and Earth. And it is a one drop, three six with Swiftness and Pierce. Mm -hmm. If this card would deal damage, it, while, it, while it is damaged, it deals double that much instead. And you pay red, beast gain plus 200 until the end of turn. So it's just an angry rabbit that doesn't yep. like you. Yeah, not at all. Not one bit. Um, and then Split Heaven and Earth is a chant. This card deals 300 damage to each player for each special magic stone they control, and it costs two red. So right now, where everybody's playing double colors, you're going to be hitting people for at least four. Yeah. Even on turn two, if they, they went first, it could be six damage for two. Yeah. Like, that's just insane. Yeah, cool. Thanks. And if Lilius is flipped, yeah. it's even more. Because you're just like, hey, cool. Take some damage. Now, this has 300 damage to each player for each special magic stone. Would that be 300 separate damage yeah. plus the X? Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty gross. That's, that's horribly awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, the next one is Guinevere, the Jealous Queen. It's a one drop. Uh, queen, two, four. Tap, banish the Resonator, draw two cards, and discard a card. So it's also, if they're trying to kill a dude, you can just get value off of that. Or you pay red, tap, target Resonator, your control gets plus four, plus four until in a turn. When it deals or is dealt damage this turn, the controller banishes it. So it's just awesome. Mostly just you're just going to use her to draw cards. Yeah, which is really quick. She does a lot of work when you don't think it would, but she does. Yeah. Next we have the Cook of the Academy. It is two red for a 6-6. Six, six. Enter, search your deck for a card named Whole Pig. Reveal it and put it in your hand. It's just to help you get the Whole Pigs out early to help you do stuff. You could easily switch this out with other burn spells if you wanted to. It's not really a big, yeah. like, major thing. I just wanted to see what it would do. See if it'll get this quicker. All right, and we have the next one, which is Arl, the seven-tailed fox, and then also the split card of, uh, yeah, Arl's flame. It's a two red for the creature. It's a six-eight. 
Whenever damage is dealt to this card, it deals that much damage to target players slash JRS in there. And then you pay three red, put this card from your graveyard into the field. This dude's so good. Which is makes this the perfect blocker constantly. And then, of course, the split card part is a chance quick cast. This card deals 1400 damage divided as you choose to target resident area you control and target resident area your opponent controls. You may assign, you have to at least assign two damage uh, per each thing. Yeah. This card's so, nuts, man. Because, like, the first nuts. time you're just like, cool, pay the one mana, deal two to my guy, deal 12 to your guy, yeah. kill him, and then pay three and get the fox in play. Yeah. And not care. Not care. And it's just one to cast that chant. Just be like, one red, <laughs> quick cast, do this. Yeah, one red, I'm gonna kill your dude. And then I'm gonna pay three to bring this blocker back that will deal you damage. And again, if Lilius is flipped, all of this all, has increased. All of it. Yeah. The fox's damage is increased, the damage you deal to a creature is increased, all of it. It is increased on your creature too, so you deal two plus whatever, so just know that. Which is good, <laughs> because you can also do 1200 damage to your fox, which does 1400, or 1200 plus whatever Yeah. Lilius is, it's ridiculous. Alright, yeah. it's just ridiculous. <laughs> The last creature card we have is the Thunder Wolf slash Thunder. It is three red for a Resonator with Swiftness. This gains Precision and First Strike and plus four plus four as long as your opponent controls a damaged Resonator, your damaged J Resonator. Yep. And it is a nine nine or Thunder, which is a reprint, but it's another one. Uh, red Quick Cast. This card deals five hundred damage to target player or J Resonator. Simple so, as that. It's a simple card that you're either shooting their face or you're getting a big dude. Yeah. And either the, one's fine. And the fact that with a uh, Lilius, that you can pay zero to deal 200 damage to this, and it's damaged, and now it's a, what, 13-13 precision first strike swiftness? Yeah, you deal damage to their dude. Yeah. So, so awesome. And, of course, because we can, we can also do normal thunder. <laughs> Yay, normal thunder. It's a, as you said, one red quick cast does 500 damage to target player or J Resonator. The next card we got is Magical Arrow. It is going to be, I think, one of the stars of this deck with Lilius, just because it's silly. It's ridiculous, yeah. Um, it's one red, quick cast. This card deals 100 damage to target player or J Resonator. Put this card on, into its owner's hand as it resolves. That's what makes it so dumb, is because you're like, cool, I'll get this back a lot. And if Lilius is flipped, you're like, cool, take seven, take whatever. <laughs> yeah. However many counters I have, take one plus those counters. Yep. So at very minimum, it's going to be like 10. So you're like, cool, take 10. Or take 11. Yeah, take 11. And do it again. <laughs> yeah. And do it again. You're dead. Doing it. You're dead. You're just dead. It not... gets ridiculous because you have nothing to do with your red mana, so you're just like, cool, magical arrow, die. Just win. All right, next one is Burning Rabbit Dash. He's like, hold up. It's a uh, two red, put three, three, three beast uh, resonators and tokens with swiftness. And when this card is put in the graveyard and from the field, it deals 200 damage to target uh, J resonator into the field. So it's uh, it's really good. It's just the fact that it can get pumped up by a Lilith. And for two, you have nine damage. Yeah. Nine power for, for two. And when they deal damage, when they die, they do more damage. Yeah, exactly. So you don't really care if they die. Uh, next is Burn Descender. It is, it is two red for a quick cast chant. This card deals 700 damage to target J slash Resonator. If it's a J ruler, it loses Imperishable until the end of turn. If it's a Resonator and it will be put into a graveyard from the field, remove it from the game instead. Uh, this is just a J ruler kill mostly. Because red doesn't have, like, until I had all these new cards, red didn't have a whole lot to deal with it. Um, but it's really good just because it removes Imperishable. Like, you're just like, cool, yeah. just go away. Thanks. Regalia, no. Thanks. Yeah, no thanks. Next one is Blaze Tornado. It's a two red and one champ. This card deals 1400 damage divided as you choose to any number of target slash J resonators. This can also go with the Fox. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just a lot of damage. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and the final card of the main deck is the Last Secret Sword. It is two red and a black, but you may banish all but one entity you control and discard your hand rather than pay this card's cost. And this card does a thousand damage to your opponent. This is considered a red card, so it does more damage with Lilius. So when you're like Judgment turn two, swing Lilius, you're at 25. And done. Take, take, take your damage. Take your damage. Thanks. Yeah, like, you, you get rid of everything but Lilius, and this card deals at least 20 or at least 10 plus whatever your counters are. Yeah. So cool. Thanks. It's a lot of counters. That's a lot it, of damage. It gets ridiculous how quickly you'd be like, yeah, you're dead. Thanks. And especially if you have two of them. Yeah. It just works. Uh, the stones, they're really simple. We're only playing four of the new stones and that's just because they give you strength counters. The epic stone of the dragon, which is add a red or puts three strength counters on your ruler. And then six fire magic stones. That's because, all you need. Yeah. Because we're not trying to take more damage from our own split heaven and earth, so we might as well just play red. Yeah, exactly. 
And we don't really have a sideboard, but I do have one honorable mention this time, which is Serto the Blazing Volcano. It is a red and one for essentially an addition that says players can't gain life. That's really why it's there. Yes. Um, and then whenever a resonator is put into a graveyard from the field, this card deals 100 damage to each player. So it that will get bumped up by Lilius, so just know that it gets dangerous. But mostly it's there to be like, don't gain life. Yeah. Stop. And the fact that, yeah, when you play mono red essentially you, that's their that's your bane right there yeah and there's a lot of things that gain life right now especially with alice or whatnot so yeah. you want to make sure you can stop that overall this is just going to be a burn deck like i need to make sure that you die really quickly and uh that's what we're here for yeah. just be like burn 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 just die again turn two i win yeah cool Hey, why not? And usually, and with this deck, it doesn't even matter if it's like turn four, I can still win. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no late game. Or there's a late game to this deck as well. Yeah. With that, guys, the deck list will be down below. Go check it out. Leave a like and comment just down below, and we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, then subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.